We're going to give you just one message today, which is how AG Grid can work with Angular 2, because we're excited about Angular 2. It's been finally released and stable, and we've been able to use Angular 2 inside our grid for the custom rendering and editing. Before we start, if you don't know, that's what a data grid looks like. If your application needs a data grid, then you should check us out. So we'll go to how to configure AG Grid inside an Angular 2 app. Now, this we'd working this time last year. I was giving a talk here and was able to show using our grid as a component in Angular 2, where you see we have the data, which is the column depth and the row data being passed in as Angular 2 properties, and then we have cell clicked, which is an event coming out. So that's the basic Angular 2 way, data going in or properties, data coming out with events. So this I say we had working last year. Then this year, we're going to go and put a component inside the grid. So I'll show you what we're going to start with, which is, oops, I'm going to show you a simple grid on the web page. Um, we're going to start with this, uh, which is the JavaScript you just saw. Using simple rendering, um, there's, there's no graphics inside the grid. What we're going to do is stick in an Angular 2 component on the gold, silver, and bronze columns. So this is what the component looks like. There's no dependencies here other than Angular 2. This is a pure Angular 2 component. You can see in the template, we're using Angular 2 directives, which is the ng4, and there's also some data binding there in the style. Other than that, it's just plain JavaScript. Now, I'm going to go to the, or Sean is going to go to the configuration. What it is right now, we can see those last three columns, the gold, silver, and bronze. That's what they look like when you're not using Angular 2, just a simple rendering. We're going to comment those out. We're going to put in the Angular 2 equivalents. And looking at the top one there, gold, the things to notice are the cell renderer framework. The framework key, or sorry, the framework word there is key. It's telling our grid that you're going to use Angular 2. You then just tell it the component class name that you want to use. So in here, it's called the start component. And then the module imports, that's where we can tell the components and which Angular 2 modules that your component is going to use. So because I use the ng4, we need to include the common module from Angular 2. So with those changes, we'll go back to the web page. Way, and there we have gold, silver, and bronze done using an Angular 2 cell renderer. So we are the best data grid in the world for JavaScript. If you'd like to come and talk to us, we've got a stand just out there. I'd like for you to enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.